calculators do not like dividing by zero. This is because the smaller the denominator becomes on a fraction, the larger the total number becomes. If you reduce the value of the denominator all the way down to zero, the only way this can work is if your total answer becomes infinity. If you travel for zero time over any distance greater than zero, you have just traveled at infinite speed. So from light's perspective, it is traveling infinitely fast, not at 299,792,458 meters per second. Let's call that C from now on. So why is it that everyone else detects light traveling at C, but light thinks it's going infinitely fast? What I am about to share is one possible theory. It's going to incorporate the 4D space we talked about when considering the nature of time, as well as the hyperbolic universal geometry we discussed for the shape of space models. Both models were important building blocks that we can now build upon in a single 4D hyperbolic geometry. This may sound intimidating, but it's the same as the 4D space we've worked in before. Let's compress all of 3D space down into a single 2D plane. This leaves us the final dimension free to be made into the time direction we looked at earlier. For the hyperbolic element, all that means is that in our space, all the lines diverge away from one another, always.